Alrighty, welcome to my room. We're going to be uh, examining Kanoki foot pads today. See if these really do work in detox. Please state your name. <laughs> it's not an interrogation. Alright then, Geraldine, let's have a look at your Kanoki foot pad after it's been on your foot for... Uh, 24 hours. 24 hours. Oh. That must really work. Uh, do, you, do you feel detoxified, Jelly Bean? Yeah. <laughs> oh my lord. Let's have a look at the sole of your foot. Well, thank you very much for participating in this experiment. No problem, Mr. Thornley. All right then, so we're gonna try and make some toxic waste. I have a ethyl acetate or ethyl ethanoate. Now I know from a previous experiment that this doesn't turn the foot pads gray or brown. So I put some of that in here. Now I'm going to mix in three chemicals that are definitely toxic. I have sodium nitrate. Sodium nitrate causes uh, stomach cancer and blue baby syndrome. So let's pop some of that in. That's nasty stuff. Then we have lead subacetate, also called sugar of lead. This tastes really nice, gives you brain damage. Lead is a, is a neurotoxin. So we'll put a bunch of that in. And finally, cadmium chloride. Cadmium uh, gives you Itai Itai disease, which is uh, really painful. Japanese for ouch is Itai, so it's actually called ouch ouch disease. Now, it doesn't dissolve that well, but I can't use water or, or any other polar solvent because that seems to set the foot pad off. It will dissolve a little bit and it will dissolve enough for our purposes. All right, switch it off if you want. Okay. Cheers. Okay then, so let's cut open these Kanoki foot pads and let's see, uh, see what we can see. Well, this one here is the, uh, the foot pad with the ester. And so if we open that up, pretty much seems that that shows a negative for toxins. And, and the ester itself isn't that toxic. Now let's try this one here. So this is the ester the solvent with toxic waste. There's some sort of slight coloration there. A little bit of clumping. Alrighty, let's have a look at the, uh, the foot pad alone. Then we can see if there's any difference at all. So it seems that the foot pad with the toxic waste shows just a little bit of clumping, that's all. Really no difference at all between it used and unused. But interestingly, the one that shows the most uh, activation is the one with water. This one shows the kind of classic Kanoki detox picture with this brown grey ooze inside it. Hmm. So as a little post experiment, let's add a little bit of the ester of the solvent to the foot pad with the toxic waste. Maybe the bag has prevented the, uh, the toxic waste getting in or the ester getting in. Hmm. So it does show a discoloration, but I think that's just uh, like when you get cloth wet, it becomes a, a different color. I think that's the case here. Well, I'm not convinced these things work. Time to shut off. So this is a blooper. Do you want to smell it, Geraldine? 
What does it smell like? Salami. Oh. <laughs> yes. I'm vegetarian. Can you find something less offensive for me? Um, spice herbs. Nasty. Oh. You don't want to be here. <laughs> it's the uh, head of the school student union. Come to call 